Hello everyone, it's Stella Bell with Ono Social Network. Today we're going to learn how to use and download the, EO, the Gray Mass EOS voter software. So we go to our Medium account where I've made a tutorial. You're going to click on the link uh, that for the GitHub that sends us directly to the GitHub repository for the Gray Mass EOS voter. So now that you're here, you see that it's the current release and you're going to select the type of download for your operating system. For example, I have a Mac, so I'll be downloading the DMG file. Of course, if you have Windows, you'll be downloading the EXE file. And let me go ahead and we're gonna, I'm going to select the DMG for downloading. Okay, and there it is. It's downloaded. I'm going to double click on the downloaded file. There we are. Okay, so now we're going to drag the EOS, that app, right directly into our applications folder. After that process, then we're going to go to our, app, our applications and double click on the EOS voter icon, and that will bring up the program. As you can see, okay, right now, this is the trickiest part. So it's it's asking to connect to an EOS node. Don't worry though, if you don't know what node to, cl um, to connect to, you're going to click on this link right here. Click on the link and it will take us directly to the GitHub where we can then copy and paste the node. So just wait till that comes up here. And where is it? There it is. Okay, so you're going to scroll down. Okay, there we are, EOS nodes. And you have a variety to select. You get to decide which node that you want to connect to. So, I mean, it's gray mass. So I guess we're going to go ahead and connect to the um, gray mass node. So I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to copy copy it that um, that node address for gray mass and then we're going to put it in there we're going to copy it in there so once you do that then now you have you have the EOS voter tool opened up now the first thing you're going to see there is your account name in that first box now don't worry if you don't have your EOS account name because you can look it up. You see that little text up there? It says, don't know your account name. You're going to click on that and then you will put your uh, public key in there and it will automatically populate your account name. So you're going to put your account name in that second one. You're going to put your private key. So that's your EOS private key. The third thing you need to do is to encrypt your wallet. You're going to write down a password and put that password in there. And then that that basically locks your wallet and encrypts it so that um, you know it's safe. So after you do that, then I'm not going to put my keys in just because I already voted. But it once you do that, then these will you will be able to vote for your block producers that are, are on the right. You select the little box to the left. And as you can see, they're all listed there. And it shows you even like the percentages of votes and everything. Before you select your particular block producer, please make sure and click on the website underneath them because there's been a lot of like block producers that don't even have websites that are showing up on these lists. So you want to make sure that this is an actual block producer and verify with the block producer of their name. But please visit the website that's below just to make sure that it's legitimate. So I just found out today that you can change the language and you can see it's up in the upper right hand corner. There's Chinese, English, French, Korean, and Japanese. And it looks like Aaron Cox, who you may know from Steam It. He is Jesta. He's one of the, if not the top witness in Steam, he is like in the top few. Anx is the other programmer on 
you from Steam and you will know his name because he created Cheetah, the little plagiarism bot. So basically they're adding languages like it seems like every day they've added a different, a new language. So you need to, if your language is in, in there, you might want to check with them in their Telegram channel. Um, also, they do really good. They've been very helpful in their own uh, Gray Mass Telegram channel with tech support. Um, I even had it one issue, and they help resolve that. So that Telegram channel is a really good place to, to go for help. Now, I did hear that the security audit for gray mass, this tool, has not been done, but that either is in the process of being done or will be done um, shortly. Now, personally, I used this, this voting tool, gray mass, on the very first day that voting opened. I successfully voted with this tool. Um, I'm very familiar with these developers because they, uh, Jesta created the vessel tool and you might know that from Steam. And so um, I feel extremely confident in trusting these developers. And the other thing to consider is the fact that, um, you know, they do, they have tech support. So I like to use tools where I know that I'm going to get continued support and that it's going to be constantly developed and they have a track uh, track record of uh, transparency and trustworthiness. So, look, this is not... I, I'm sure the other tools are good. It's just I'm comfortable with using what I know and I use Vessel for two years and I never had any issues with it. Vessel, you know, is the Steam blockchain equivalent of Gray Mass. It's like if you use Vessel... To, do, to use Steam to transfer and um, use uh, to transfer tokens in there, then uh, Gray Mass is basically the equivalent for the EOS e ecosystem. Now, it's good to wait for the security, security audit just to be on the safe side if you're that kind of person. Um, but I definitely do recommend uh, this tool. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and good luck with your EOS voting. Goodbye.